Coastal fishing is fishing that takes place offshore where land is visible. There are many different fishing methods such as gillnet fishing, basket fishing, line fishing and catching all kinds of seafood. Most fisheries are small-scale fisheries carried out by one or two people using motorized boats of 5 tons or less, but net fisheries using larger boats of less than 20 tons are also considered a coastal fishery. Japan's coastal fisheries catch in 2018 was 970,000 tons, accounting for about 20% of Japan's total catch of 4.42 million tons. Fishing operates within 200 nautical miles, about 370 kilometers, of mainland Japan. Some fishermen return to port within two to three days after leaving port, while others take more than a month to return to port. On average there are 4 to 15 people on a ship weighing 20 to 150 tons. Offshore fishing accounts for more than half of Japan's catch. Typical fishing methods are purse seine fishing and bottom trawling, used to catch fish such as horse mackerel, mackerel, sardines and sori, which are common on the dinner table, as well as shrimp, crab and other fish. When fishing in the deep sea, large ships from 350 to 500 tons go to fishing grounds far from Japan such as the South Pacific, Indian Ocean, and Atlantic Ocean to fish for tuna and squid. Once you leave Japan, you may not return home for at least a month or as long as a year and a half. Caught fish will be frozen on board and brought back to Japan. to 500,000 tons, about 40% of coastal catches, making the industry an important point supporting the Japanese diet. In particular, fish caught in fixed nets are caught alive so they can be sold in markets and supermarkets in a fresh state. You can also keep live fish in cages or aquariums.
toxic fish can be caught using fixed nets and it can be said that the resources are used effectively. This also enriches the Japanese dining table. It also plays an important role in terms of employment. A few to dozens of fishermen are working on a fixed net fishing ground. The annual net catch is about 400,000 to 500,000 tons, about 40% of coastal catches, making the industry an important one supporting the Japanese diet. In particular, fish caught in fixed nets are caught alive so they can be sold in markets and supermarkets in a fresh state. You can also keep five fish in cages for aquariums. Many types of fish can be caught using fixed nets and it can be said that the resources are used effectively. This also enriches the Japanese dining table. It also plays an important role in terms of employment. A few to dozens of fishermen are working on a fixed net fishing ground. The most common image of a fisherman is that he is actively fishing at sea. Boat fishing accounts for the majority of Japan's catch. There are TV shows that deal with male romance such as tuna fishing with a fishing pole and skipjack tuna in Oma so many people may have the impression that fishermen equals fishing boats. However, if we look at the value of fish caught, the proportion of fish caught on farms has increased significantly, suggesting that both types of work are important in supporting our diets. Dot fishing boats or aquaculture. For those of you who are struggling, we would like to introduce the different types of jobs that we consider based on our experience of supporting many young people. I love fish both when I sleep and when I wake up. Fishing boats are natural hunters who hunt fish in every season. First, intestines, second, intestines. I won't let my target escape. The time spent floating at sea waiting for the net is long, so it is necessary to have a strong spirit, perseverance and physical strength to be able to endure the hard work. The larger the ship, and the longer the journey, the higher the income earned, so many people use this as motivation to work hard. In addition to being mentally and physically strong, working on a fishing boat is always a team effort. Obviously you need to cooperate, but you also need to be able to examine the situation and act accordingly. When fishing on a fishing boat takes several days, you will sleep and eat with other crew members, so in addition to paying attention to your surroundings, you also need to be sensitive and not too worried. I like what I like. I do everything I want to do. I think it is suitable for people who are ambitious and unwavering in their thinking. I like to see the development of B-R-A-Z-I-L-I-N-C-E-N-T-I-V-E-S-T-Y-P-E of aquaculture.
an expert grower who handles everything from start to harvest. Medica, water spinach, vegetables, beetles. It is suitable for those who want to try growing anything and those who enjoy growing things. Although it tends to be considered a more modest job than fishing on a trawler, the amount of work you put in will affect the amount of catch, value, so you can find satisfaction in this job. Aquaculture fishermen work hard with love and pride so that they can always confidently say, backquote, backquote, what I grow is the best. A lot of work is done on land and patience is required as the same job can be repeated for hours at a time. Additionally, since your job is to monitor the daily growth of seafood, you should have observation skills to notice even the smallest abnormalities. The work itself depends on the species of fish and the time of year, but the work cycle is usually from morning to midday, at the latest until evening, so it is relatively easy to find time for hobbies and family. In aquaculture fishing, communicating with people on the beach is essential, so you need to be friendly and comfortable in greeting, chatting daily and helping others. When you enter a town, obey the town. If you are adaptable, to look at things cheerfully and try to fit in, you will be invincible. There are four main ones. Japanese fishing industry. However, I don't know whether to choose fishing boats or aquaculture. If so, consider both locations. Some coastal fishermen successfully combine both in their annual work cycle. One option could be to learn a lot from such fishermen. Next, let's break down coastal fishing activities where fishermen work. Looking at the marine area, fishing can be divided into four categories. Inland water fisheries. Fishing in lakes, swamps and rivers. Catches include salmon, trout, sweetfish, smelt, shrimp, eels and freshwater clams. Rainbow trout and carp are also raised in artificial ponds and reservoirs. Inland fishing is easily affected by the surrounding environment and water quality, so the operating area is where there is still clean water and a suitable environment for fish to live. Small boats with a tonnage of 10 tons or less. Typical athletes include cast nets, sen nets and aquaculture. Coastal fisheries. Fishing is a type of fishing that many Japanese fishermen participate in. The fishing grounds are relatively close to the beach so day trips are common. Many of the businesses are family-run and the types of fish they catch and what they grow vary depending on the season and region. The Sanriku coast, where the Oyashio and Kuroshio currents meet, is full of fish from near the surface to the ocean floor, so you can catch a variety of fish. Point. Small boats with a tonnage of 10 tons or less. Representative athletes are allowed to participate in aquaculture, net fishing, sen fishing, trawl fishing, trawl fishing, This is a fishery intermediate in scale between coastal fishing and deep sea fishing, operating within 200 nautical miles of Japan. It accounts for more than half of Japan's total catch. The fish we catch are all familiar to our diets, such as horse mackerel, sardines, mackerel, tuna, pollock, sori and squid. The number of fishing days varies depending on the size of the fishing boat and the type of fish, and can range from a few days to a few weeks. In sand fishing, which targets fish migrating in schools, several boats may form a team to operate the fish. Boat size is medium, large vessel of 10 tons or more. Typical players are sand fishing, net fishing, bottom trawl fishing, squid fishing, etc. Miyagi Prefecture Annual Salary Example Starting salary, inshore tuna fishing about 3.8 million yen including commission. Floating fishing they fish the world's oceans, including the South Pacific just below the equator and off the coast of South Africa, so life on board could last from 50 days to a year. Because each fishing boat is large and has more than 20 people on board, it costs a lot of personnel, food and fuel. 
In recent years, each country has restricted areas where fishing is possible, making it difficult for Japanese ships to fish freely and the amount of fish caught has been decreasing. Ocean tuna fishing boats are large vessels with a tonnage of 200 to 500 tons and deep sea tuna boats are 400 to 500 tons. Representatives in the field of deep sea fishing include deep sea trawling, tuna line fishing and deep sea tuna fishing. For example, about annual income in the Yagi Prefecture Cay, long distance tuna fishing with fishing line about 3.6 million to 4.5 million yen including commission. You can also think of these four jobs as one management entity. Coastal fisheries are largely family-run businesses, so it's almost like an apprenticeship for individuals. It's a different story if they're part of a company, and they're offshore, vast senior sea companies that hire sailors to carry out fishing. Therefore, you will be working as a member of a large company. The work of fishermen is extremely diverse. There are many jobs and characteristics that vary by region. To find the working style that suits you, we recommend that you first talk to fishermen and let them experience their work.